We go way back. No, he took care of me. Speaking of speaking of going way back, seeing you together, it seems like you've been forever on screen together. But this is your first movie together. How long have you known each other, and how did this opportunity come? Well, we've known each other for a while. For a while, Um, and you know, it's just serendipity that we kind of great uh, word. He's so good at that. Came together like like from the first time we read the script. Yeah. Doing doing just a in house read through, we just naturally were were kind of fit each other's styles and uh, had a great rhythm with each other. And Instant click. Just like Instant that. click. Yeah. No, so. nothing was forced. Nothing, there was no discussion of, yeah. you guys need to figure out a way. Nothing. Right, right, right. It was a, so, we fit. It was, uh, yeah, and, and, and this was an idea that uh, my production company had come up with and Kevin was the only name that we wanted. And lucky for us, he, he thought it was funny as well. It's hilarious. Um, Let's talk about your characters. So who are James King and Darnell, and what are the wrong assumptions they make about each other? (laughs) Well, James King is a a very sheltered kind of hedge fund manager who uh, is is really good at only one thing, and that's making money. And outside of that, he's, he, you know, he doesn't really know how to talk with people in the real world or even function in the real world. and, of course, we find out that he's been accused of embezzling and that in 30 days he's going to go to prison. Uh, and that's when he runs across Darnell, who he's been, he doesn't realize he's been crossing paths with him for years and, for years, years and years. He works in the same building. <laughs> uh, I, yeah. I am a guy who's, uh, I've been dealt a bad hand, I guess you can say. You know, I'm a guy that's married, a uh, kid. Um, I'm living in a situation that I, I just don't want to be in anymore. You know, this this course is kind of, it's it's really ran, it's ran its course, I guess I should say. Uh, and, you know, I want to move. I want to put my daughter in a better situation. I want to just get out of this neighborhood. Uh, I want my business to, to progress instead of digress. And it just isn't working. And the opportunity comes for me to give a presentation for what I think could be a great plan. And... James King is a guy who's everyone knows he's the smartest guy with money, and I give him the presentation. And I'm shut down, shut down. Right. And he not only does he shut me down, he he gives me advice that really doesn't pertain to my life at all. It's like he gives me the advice of another guy <laughs> that works in stocks, I guess you could say. And and James James wrongly assumes that because of of Darnell's socioeconomic background that he's <laughs> spent time in jail, uh, uh, and before. Darnell's about to punch him in the face. He offers him a sum of money that would change his life. That would literally to, change my situation. To teach him how to survive in prison, and that kind of begins the story. That's a great premise, I have to admit. And by the way, speaking of going to jail or preparing these roles, you actually—how did you prepare these roles? Because I believe you actually even visited a jail, right? Uh, not not we shot, for the. We shot in a jail. I mean, I yeah, I, you shot. I, I shot didn't have to go to jail. in a jail. Um, I actually, you know, I I do have a friend who spent time in minimum security uh, prison, uh, eight months for some uh, tax evasion. <laughs> and I did, you know, I did kind of talk to him about his experience uh, just to see, you know, what that, what that whole thing felt like. Uh, so there's a little bit of preparation there. Following up on that, as outrageous as the situations <clears throat> that happen and and everything that goes on. The truth is that this comedy is grounded in reality, which makes it even funnier. Yeah, it really, is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it yeah. really is. I think that's what's amazing about it. You know, you got to credit that to the writers, uh, as well as the director and all the producers at hand, you know, and making sure that we not only had a, a good comedy, but giving Will and myself a vehicle that we could have levels with, you know, and it's great to be funny. It's easy to be funny, but to make it believable and to ground it, that's the task that you really want to accomplish. Because if you can do both, then you really have a movie. You really have something that's going to keep people's attention. And at the end of it, they're going to walk away and go, wow, not only was it funny, but there was some some stuff in there. There was some, there was some underlying little messages in there. And I get it. And I think we have that in this film. 